It's November, which means the first freeze of the season is just around the corner. That's going to mark the end of the summer garden here at WLTX. But I wanted to show you why I'm very excited for winter. It's more than just sunrises that give the garden color. Peppers are enjoying a second flush of fruit and our golden lotus banana plants about to bloom. Tomatoes are still producing and the eggplant are giving it one last go. But these plants are about to freeze over. November is a turning point. The average first freeze falls on November 10th. Last year it was November 3rd. Since 1990, Columbia most often had a first freeze in early November. The first freeze happens in mid-November, about as often as it had in late October. Not a problem though for winter greens. Our lettuce is seven weeks old from seed and can survive 20 degrees. I've heard collards and cabbage taste sweeter after a hard freeze. And parsley is a perennial that we planted last fall that died back when the summer heat came, but now it's gorgeous and it'll stay that way through winter. The same thing's happening with our kale plants that we planted last year and the cardoon, which is a cousin of artichokes. Beetles are eating holes in our cauliflower now, but when the first freeze hits, the bugs won't be a problem. We'll still have to deal with the deer, which have maneuvered around our fences, but the plants won't need as much water, so that's a good thing. Although I'll certainly miss summer scenes like this. And on our WLTX Gandy's Gardeners Facebook group, people are chatting away. These gardeners are living in the Midlands with us, so we're all experiencing the weather together. And as we get into those cooler days, Chris wants to make sure those summer plants don't die out. So they're bringing them into their garage. It's going to be more like a greenhouse. It looks like this winter and cool weather gardening is an exciting time, even for the plants that do stay outside like ginger. Linda is sharing their absolutely gorgeous ginger blooms and Corey's appreciating some of those beautiful fall colors from our native grasses. And I think that's something that a lot of people are chatting about that they're very excited and looking forward to are those winter colors. It's true. Some things turn gray, but there are a lot of colors to come, says Tammy, who also appreciates the distance disappearing bugs and Anne agrees about the biting bugs disappearing being a big big perk to cooler weather and if you're a container gardener this is actually a great time of the year to sort of flex those container garden muscles Adrian is sharing their collards which are doing so well in buckets which is proof that you don't need an in-ground garden to make it work those collards will survive the winter and Janet is expanding on that with raised garden beds this is inspirational look at how big these cabbages are a lot of people on our Facebook group were asking how do you get cabbage that big this early in the season? Mary says that their rule of thumb is to start planting right before Labor Day. But there's no excuse not to get out there and garden now. So let's get started. For News 19, I'm meteorologist Alex Calamia.